Hi everyone, it's Megan again. I said I would do a video on my bead storage, um, and so here it is. Um, so when I have a project in progress, all my whips um, have a different, um, obviously different bead set. So, it, and it depends on how big the project is. Um, so these right here are what I'm using for a partial um, that I'm doing. Um, so it's pretty um, small. So all of the beads fit. Well, I had to use two for the number two for the number one here. Um, but then it goes one and then two and then three. And I've used my um, label maker on the smallest font setting size to write the number for the key and then the DMC code next to it so that when I'm done with the project, um, I put all my extra beads in this large container. So I've also used my um, label maker to, because I've done like a little key. So R is round drills and S is square drills. And then I think once I do enough of these to fill up the whole thing, well, this is already filled up with my round and my um, square drills. I'm going to have to get another one and dedicate, I think, one just to round and then another one just to square. But I'm not quite ready for that yet. I think I might order it soon, though, because when I'm done with this project, um, I'll have to convert it into here. And then I don't have any more, so I'll have to do that. Um, so yeah, so I just used my label maker again to um, write R for round and then the DMC code right here. And then inside are all my round 154s. And I've also put a little section of dryer sheet in there so that um, they can kind of relax a little bit on their static cling. And they're in order by number. Um, and then they start over with the square ones, which start here. So I am gonna have to buy another one um, soon. But the other thing that I've been using are these twistable ones. Um, so this one's a really big one, and you, it's hard to see on camera, but the label says one, and it's for a DW. It's, um, that's for code for dark, the dark woods that I'm working on right now. Um, so all of these, it only had 10 colors. I'm trying to find a way to show you. It only had 10 colors, so I had to use um, 10 little jars, and that's all that. And then when I'm done with these, um, these actually don't have DMC codes. So what I've been doing with those ones, if I can reach it from here, yeah, is um, these are my extra round drills with no DMC codes. And I just put them in here in bags with a dryer sheet just to have them. So if I needed a color, I could look for a close color to it or something. This is just from one of my finished partials that I did. Um, I did just finish another one today. It's called the Lovely, or not, I don't think it's that, I think it's just Lovely Elephant. Isn't it so cute? I love it, it's so cute. It was so easy to do. I really recommend this one. I got it off of Amazon, Lovely Elephant. It only had 13 colors, this one did. Um, and those drills were also in something like this. And I like this because it can close and lock, and then there's room over here to put um, my tweezers to carry it if I want to travel with it, my wax. I have figured out that I don't think this works very well. I think the wax dries out, and it, I don't know, I'm still working on that. But then I can also fit my drill pen in there, and then my tray, I think, yeah. So it all sort of fits in there really quite nicely for me to 
travel around with it. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. Over here I have all my extra stuff, my extra um, containers that I have for some bigger projects. And I left these numbered just in case I wanted to use them again. Um, so yeah, hope this helps. See you later.